What's up guys, welcome back. This is part four, the final installment of my 3D printed hydrofoil build. Unfortunately, as you're about to see, I have some good news and I have some bad news. So Seth, go ahead and pan to these. So this is what y'all have seen in the previous three parts of my hydrofoil build. This is what you haven't seen unless you've watched my vacuum forming tutorial video. So here's Seth, zoom in on this. A couple weekends ago, we came out to the lake in hopes of filming part four and testing this out. Unfortunately, we broke this, but that's okay because I thought I figured that was going to happen. So I started building this one anyway, and this one is way beefier. It's about probably three times as much fiberglass on the mast as this one. It's all modular. The wing is like twice or three times as big as the first one. It's got a wooden fuselage and this whole thing is super beefy done with vacuum forming. So we have high hopes for this one. So that's the one we're gonna test out in this video. Maybe at some point I'll fix this one, but it may just sit on a shelf somewhere for the rest of the flight. All right, so let's get this in the water and let's get started. I guess that's good. I don't know anything about hydrofoils. So. All right, let's get in the water. All right. Ha ha. That one's still going. Yeah. All right. We broke it. Not even double fiberglass held up. Triple fiberglass. Well, <laughs> all right. So we're going to have to uh, figure something else out. Um, stay tuned for part five. 